Hey there, in this video, we're gonna talk about setting up your Twitter profile optimally. Just like any of our social channels, it's almost like even if you aren't, let's say that you have a LinkedIn account, but you're not super active on LinkedIn. When someone Googles you, there's a really good chance that it's your LinkedIn profile that's gonna pop up. So you wanna make sure that it's updated and looks as good as it can. It would be nice to think that our first impression is going to be that beautiful new website that we just spent a ton of money on, but unfortunately that's not exactly how it works. So if for no other reason, if you have a Twitter account, it would serve you well to make sure that it is optimized. Uh, so how do we optimize it? Well, let's start at the top. The first thing that you'll notice is that Twitter gives us a very, very generous banner. So it takes up a lot of real estate. So it would be smart for you to be really crystal clear about who you are, who you serve, and maybe any promotions or downloads or freebies or anything else that you've got going on. Okay, so now I wanna bring your attention to the profile photo. I almost always recommend that people use um, a human image. So even if you're a company and you've got a really cool logo, think about having your profile picture maybe incorporate the colors of your brand, or maybe you could be standing in front of your delivery truck or your storefront. Photos generally get more engagement than logos. Then the next thing I wanna show you here is where it says Jen Laner, Digital Marketing Strategist. This is pretty new. Um, it used to be that you weren't given nearly this many characters. So I've got enough space to write Digital Marketing Strategist and add an emoji. So I would strongly encourage you to put your title behind your name, whatever it is you wanna be found for, put it there. The bio, we're allowed 160 characters. You can also add a link there. Um, not a lot of people know that that's possible, but you certainly can add a link there. I'm also including lots of keywords here, but not in a way that's awkward. It makes sense. So digital marketing strategist, professor of digital marketing strategy, Cleveland State University, and podcaster. So those are all things I'd like to come up for in search as well, and it also happens to be true, so that's good. I do recommend that you put your location because uh, that increases the likelihood that you'll get found locally. And then they've got a spot here for your link that's pretty self-explanatory. If you're active on Periscope, you can connect your Periscope to your Twitter account and right here is where you, where you will see those broadcasts. Okay, so we have a nice banner, we have a nice professional photo, we have optimized our bio to make sure that there's keywords in there, we've placed links, we've made sure that we have filled out all the characters where our name and title will be, and now it's time to pin a tweet to the top of our page. So think about it, someone sees a tweet from you somewhere out there in the Twitter universe and they click on your profile which is going to take them back to your profile page when they get here they only you only have about six seconds to get their attention so everything needs to be extremely clear crystal clear in your bio who you are and what you do of course in your banner but then also you want to pin a tweet that most exemplifies the kind of stuff that you tweet or really highlights what it is you want to highlight. So in this case, I have pinned a, a tweet, um, my interview with Gary Vaynerchuk, and I'm gonna show you how you do that. So you just find any tweet. So you go ahead and tweet something out. Then you're gonna click on the little drop down, and right here it says pin to your profile page. So if you're not currently promoting anything in particular, I really recommend putting something here uh, like a eye-catching graphic that highlights what it is you do or an explainer video. In the next video, we're gonna talk about Twitter lists.